Israel's war on Gaza. Rights groups urge Biden to oppose threats to ICC. U.S. lawmakers are pushing to sanction international criminal courts over prosecutors' push to seek Israel arrest warrants. Human rights groups are urging U.S. President Joe Biden's administration to oppose threats against the International Criminal Court, ICC, after its chief prosecutor's decision to seek arrest warrants against Israeli officials, drew ire in Washington. In a letter to Biden that was made public on Thursday, more than 100 organizations from around the world called on the U.S. government to oppose any legislative efforts to undermine the ICC. The ability of the ICC to provide justice for victims requires full respect for its independence. A selective approach to judicial decisions undermines the credibility and, ultimately, the force of the law as a shield against human rights violations and abuses, the letter reads, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International USA, and the U.S. Campaign for Palestinian Rights were among the signatories. The letter was sent days after ICC prosecutor Karim Khan announced on Monday that he was seeking arrest warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yov Gallant, as well as three senior Hamas officials. Khan accused the Israeli leaders of bearing criminal responsibility for war crimes and crimes against humanity in relation to Israel's war on the Gaza Strip, which has killed more than 35,500 Palestinians since early October. Those alleged crimes include intentional attacks against civilians, willful killings and starvation of civilians as a weapon of war, Khan said. The announcement drew immediate anger from pro-Israel lawmakers from both the U.S. Democratic and Republican parties, including Biden himself, who called Khan's decision outrageous. Some Republicans have gone further and have called on Congress to pass bipartisan legislation that would impose sanctions on ICC officials in response to the arrest warrant requests. It is imperative that the Senate, in a bipartisan way, comes up with CRIP, playing sanctions against the ICC, not only to support Israel but to deter any future action against American personnel, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said on social media. During a congressional hearing on Tuesday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken suggested the Biden administration would be willing to work with lawmakers on legislation to penalize the international tribunal. I think we have to look at the pro prior steps to take to deal with, again, what is a profoundly wrong-headed decision, the top U.S. diplomat said. In Thursday's letter, the rights groups called on the Biden administration to ensure that any disagreement about the court's process is pursued through proper judicial channels under the court's treaty. We welcomed press statements by your administration in recent weeks indicating that it does not support threats or intimidation of ICC officials. The letter reads, We urge you to oppose any legislative efforts to undermine the ICC and to make clear that regardless of its views on specific ICC investigations, the United States continues to support independent international justice mechanisms.